Miguel waited for this moment to happen again between the two of them. His hands were all over Rosette's body, caressing each part passionately above her thin clothes. Would it be okay here? Tanong ni Miguel sa dalaga. Don't ask, just kiss me again. Miguel did follow what she commanded him to do. They kissed tenderly each other while she is sitting on the top of the countertop. Naramdaman ni Rosette unti-unti na alis na ang suot niyang damit. Pero hindi niya na masyadong pinansin iyon at mas itinoon ng pansin sa pagtagon sa halik ni Miguel. Habang tumatagal, paralim yun ang paralim na para bang marilunod siya sa klase ng halik na kanilang pinagsasaluhan. Lock the door. She commanded him when their lips separated. Habol-habol ni Rosette ang paghinga. Ngunit hindi naging hadlang iyon para bumaba siya sa countertop at kumuha ng panali sa buhok. Nilipon niya ang buhok at tinali iyon pataas upang hindi humarang sa kanyang mukha. Doon lang din niya napansin na alis na pa lang suot niyang pang itaas sa damit. When she looked for it, Rosad found her shirt on the floor, slightly torn. You got me excited as always, Rosad. Still not enough reason to torn my favorite shirt. Reklamo ni Miguel na hindi naman ito pinansin. Lumapit ito sa kanya. Hinapit ang kanyang bewang palapit. Do you know that this is inappropriate to our job, right? I will take the fall if anyone knows about this, but we cannot let that happen. Because I must file a resignation letter and run away from you. Miguel kissed her after she said those words. I won't let you go away. It's not going to happen. Muli siya nitong hinalikan. Can we stop chatting now and focus on something else? Hindi si Rosette sumagot at tinanggap lang paghalik nito mula sa kanya. Daan-daan silang umatras hanggang sa maramdaman ni Rosette ang likod na dumikit sa malamig na tiles ng banyo. Nagumpisa ang bumaba ang halik ni Miguel sa kanyang leeg na nagpaliyad sa kanya kaya tagkaroon to ng malayang access doon. Patuloy iyon sa pagbaba hanggang alisin nito ang suot niyang bra. Don't leave marks. Paalala ni Rosette dito ngunit tunog utos iyon. Nung huli nahirapan siyang itagong iniwan nitong marka sa kanyang leeg. Miguel kept going down until he's all on his knees for her. Rosette felt his hot breath on the skin on her flat abdomen where a childbirth scar located. Kuminto sa paghalik si Miguel doon saka nagangat ang tingin sa kanya. Where did you get this? Tanong ni Miguel sa kanya. I gave birth to Robbie via cesarean section. I got afraid of pushing even if my mother told me I could do it. Rosette's doubt her strength in giving birth to Robbie. That's where I got that. Daan-daan tumayo si Miguel at muling hinapit ang kanyang bewang palapit sa katawan nito. Muli nitong siniil ng halik ang kanyang labi kaya sa klase ng halik na pinagsaluhan nila kanina at tuloy ang inangkin ni Miguel si Rosette. Ouch! Narinig na Rosette na reklamo ni Miguel. Doon lang niya napansin na kabuon pala ang ngipin niya sa leeg nito. You asked me not to leave marks and now you're the one who left it on my neck? I'm sorry. Natataranta at medyo nahihiya pa ni Rosette na sabi dahil tama naman ito. I didn't know that you're actually a vampire. Hinampas na ito sa braso dahilan upang mas lalo ito nagreklamo sa kanya. Inalalayan siya ni Miguel makababa, ngunit halos kakatapos lang din nila. Kaya munti ka na si Rosette mawala ng balanse. Mabuti at mabilis si Miguel tsaka nayakap siya kaagad. Can you not tell this to anyone? Of course I won't do that. I'm not as chatty like Gerald. Nagkatingin silang dalawa habang magkayakap hanggang umiti ito sa kanya. You have to trust me. Trust you? Yeah, so I can stay here tonight? Tanong ni Miguel. I need to wash up. Let's do it together, Rosette. Di na si Rosette nakatanggi dahil nabuhat na siya nito papunta sa shower room. And they both did the longest shower time of their lives together. These are the files you asked me to print for you. Take note that I pay for it since the one I charmed yesterday went out for a break. Nanatiling nakatingin sa kanya si Miguel habang inaayos niya ang mga papel na inutos na ipaprint sa kanya. Si Rosette nang umiwas at kinuha ang kape na binili niya para sa kanilang dalawa. They are in the lobby of the hotel waiting for Jaime and Robbie to come home. Umalis ang dalawa habang nasa meeting sila ni Miguel buong maghapon. You can reimburse that when we get back home. Just file a reimbursement form as soon as you arrived. Umayos nang upo si Miguel at binasa mga papel na inaayos ni Rosette sa harapan nito. Where do you want to eat after this? I am going to meet my relatives. I told you last night and have Robbie catch up with his cousins. Doon na rin kami kakain siguro. How long will you be out? An hour or two? Why? I will wait for you two here with Jaime. There is a bar in this hotel. Drink and enjoy yourself while you're here in Hong Kong. I will do that if we're together. I thought that we did already enough reason to give in. Huminga siya na malalim sa kanaupo sa tabi nito. Reschedule your trip today and spend time with me, with our son and Jaime. And do what? 
Watch a movie. What does Robbie like? Anything that has superhero flying? Di ba pa ako kinukwentohan tungkol dun sa paborito niyang kanta? You wouldn't understand it, but since you insisted, I let him tell you about that band and their songs. Tumangot ako si Miguel at binigay ni Rosette ang sunod na pipirmahan. Naisip na nga rin ni Rosette kung tama bang puntahan pa niya mga kamag-anakan. Panigurado naman, tatanong na naman ng mga ito kung nasa ng tatay ni Robbie. So you're not going to your relatives now? Yes, I already changed my mind. Ayoko na sumagot ng mga tanong kung nasaan ka. Do you want it to see me? Dapat niya na sinabi yun sa binata. Dahil mas naro lang itong magtatanong sa kanya. Forget that I told you that. Pag-iba ni Rosette sa usapan nila. It's not about the secretary but maybe Rosette was not yet ready to share her life with somebody. Pwede niya i-share si Robbie pero hindi pa ang kanyang sarili. Nandito na sila. I will order room service. Be in my room 7pm sharp. Utos na Miguel sa kanya na sinagot naman ni Rosette ng tango. Agad niyang sinalubong si Robbie na nagkukwento kung ano nung hayap ang nakita nila sa Ocean Park kanina. Habang paakit sila, yun pa rin ang bukang bibig nito. Unti-unti, lumipat patungkol kay Miguel. Hi, Miss Ed at Papa is so happy to meet me, Mama. But I never catch him smiling again since we arrived here. He is probably stressed, but you did enjoy the rides with him yesterday, right? When he is stressed, his eyebrows glued at the center like this. Hindi ni Rosette maiwasang matawa ng iminuestra nito kung paano kumunot ng noo at magkadikit ang kilay ni Miguel. Don't tell him that, Mama, please. Of course, and I will tell you a secret too. That you like, Papa? Nanlaki ang mga mata ni Rosette nang marinig ang sinabi nito sa kanya. I heard you telling me ng Dolly that you're starting to like my father. What? The night before I left with Papa to Thailand. Rosette have to admit that God gave her a smart and a little with his son. Alam niya naman na naman Robby ang pagkawibo nito sa kanya. Pati na iba pang ugali bukod sa mga halatang galing kay Miguel. Don't worry, I won't tell him that. Promise? Yes, I promise. Hinalika ni Rosette ito sa pisngi pagkatagon na mabilis naman itong iniwasan. He doesn't like to be kissed even they're all alone. She also have to admit she gave birth to a little boss. That makes her serve two big bosses now. Naabutan ni Miguel na nag-inflate ng lobo si Robby mag-isa sa labas ng bahay nila. Lumingali nga siya sa paligid upang hanapin kung nasan si Rosette ngunit bigo siya na makita to. Nilapag niya ang mga bitbit na gamit na balilay ko para sa kanya. Nilapitan ni Miguel si Robby at saka inistorbo sa ginagawa nito. What are you doing here, little buddy? Tanong ni Miguel sa anak. I'm inflating a balloon, Papa. It is for my birthday today. Bahagyang umawang ang labi ni Miguel dahil sa narinig. It's your birthday today? How come there is no party today? I asked Mama not to hold a party because all I want is her and you. Robbie continued inflating the balloon. I am going to use this balloon to make a wish to God. Suddenly, Miguel thought of his childhood and his time doing an underground hobby. It was a cruel and bloody hell world Miguel did not want his son to experience. Hit! This wasn't worth it. Left hook. You're not going to be worth it with my name, Miguel. Right hook. You're useless, Miguel. Stupid. A total disgrace to my name. Papa? Tanong na pumukaw kay Miguel sa pagbabalik tanaw niya. Balik tanaw na masakit at madugong alaala na nais na niyang kalimutan. Are you okay? Mama went out to Joey Gonzalez and she'll be back later before noon. Why she's with Joey Gonzalez? Tanong ni Miguel ulit. Nagkibit balikat si Robby at patuloy na ginawa ang pagpapalobo sa plastic balloon na hawa. Come on inside and I'll help you with that. Are you going to make a wish too? Yeah, I need a thing to make it one. Will you help me compose a wish? Tumango ang anak niya at saka yumakap sa kanya na mahigpit. What flavor of cake do you like? Chocolate! Well, you got that one and your mom. Napaya si Robby at nagpakalang sa kanya pagpasok sa bahay ni Rosette. Agad sa malubong sa kanya ang nani ni Rosette na nakasuot ng apron. Binati ni Miguel ito at tinulungan sa ginagawa habang nag-o-order ng mga pagkain para sa mini party ni Robby para sa kanila. Tama si Rosette, ang hands-on mo nga kay Robby. Yung anak ko na yun, hindi siya mahiling magkwento, kaya nga hindi niya nasabi ko anong identity mo. Tumingin si Miguel sa nani ni Rosette na abalang magluto ng spaghetti na request ni Robby ngayon lang. Dahil kasama na siya nito at pauwi na rin si Rosette mula sa lakad nito kasama sa Joey. Masama ang kotob ni Miguel ngunit hindi mo na niya sisirain ang araw ng kanyang anak. It should be about his son, not them just like how he did while they are in Thailand. Habang yung nasa Hong Kong naman tungkol sa kanila ni Rosette three days ago, 
but that's not enough because he is sure that Rosette will hide again another thing to him. May I ask how Rosette went through everything, ma'am? Ngumiti ang nani ni Rosette bago ito tumugon. Sabihin na natin na madiskarte si Rosette kahit ang buntis pa. Pero ang pagtatrabaho niya maliban na lamang nung dinugo siya. Dalawang beses na nangyari yun. Unang beses hindi ko alam ang totoong kwento. Ang pangalawa ay dahil sa pagod sa pagtitrabaho ng dalawang magkaibang trabaho sa isang araw. Rosette's mom told Miguel she could not support her financially because she had been sick until now. Walang ibang choice si Rosette kung di ang magtrabaho para sa kanilang tatlo. Rosette got all the support she needed from friends and that's enough for her. Can I ask how long she dated Joey Gonzalez? Daw ang nagbagong emosyon sa mukha ng nanay ni Rosette. Papa, we don't speak of that name here. Mama hates Joey yet they went out today. Singit ni Robbie na nakikinig pala sa kanila. Ganyan talaga ang batang yan. Mukhang di nakikinig pero nag observa pala. Just like him, up until now. Marami talaga silang pagkakapareho ni Robbie sa lahat. Pero mapapansin din ang mga ugali ni Rosette dito. But what's the issue between Rosette and Joey? Miguel only gathered information about Rosette's past relationship with Joey Gonzalez and three other men, including her boss at Zenith. But the latter was made up of stories which made Miguel disregarded. Mas nalutuloy na toon ang kanyang atensyon sa naging usapan ni Rosette at Joey ngayon. Mama! Sigaw ni Robbie nang pumasok si Rosette sa bahay nila. Oh, you're here? I thought you're in London. Gulat na gulat ito at halata. Iyon sa paraan pa lamang ng pagtingin nito sa kanya. Para nag-aalangal at maitinatago. Ngunit gaya ng plano niya kanina, walang balak si Miguel na sirain ang espesyal na araw ni Robbie. I've changed plan and that's a good thing because it's my boy's birthday. You forgot to tell me. We've been together for a few days. Gusto ni Miguel sabihin din yon. Ngunit ay naman ni Miguel na magsimula ng away, not in front of their son because that would create bad memories. Memories he'd be hiding for all his life. I don't need a balloon now. Biglang sabi ni Robbie na pumukaw sa kanilang lahat. My wish already granted because I have been a good boy myself. I have plenty of gifts for you, Robbie. We ka na reset sa anak sa kaniya kapito ng mahigpit na mahigpit. And I think the cake is there. You got him a cake? Takang sambit ni Rosette. Yes, I did. He answered her question with conviction. Inayin ni Miguel ang anak papunta sa labas para kuhanin ang cake na in order. Without a cake, there's no birthday and he never had one. You know, I never had a cake on my birthday. Are you asking me to buy you one because you bought our son not one, but two cakes? You know when is my birthday? I do, because I studied your profile and it's included in our project. Pa, ma, are you two fighting? Tanong sa kanila ni Robbie habang nakatingin ito sa kanilang dalawa. No, sabay nilang sambit. It's hard for Miguel to keep up with the parenting skills of Rosette. He has no experience and Miguel is not proud of it. Kung alam niya lang na magkakaanak siya, dapat napaghanda ng lahat. At least he studied my profile and I think I already taught you all. Komendat siya dito at saka kinuha na sa labas ang cake na order. Leaving Rosette alone in the middle of their living room, he is so happy. Pero lagi naman siya masaya sa mga nagdaan na birthday niya. Ayaw lang talaga niya ng party. He prefers spending it with me. Tan now until you're here? Rosette collected all the toys on the floor. Nagkalat naman ang anak niya. At saka, kalarong naman nito si Miguel. It's weekend for the both of them. On a day off, magandang ang araw tinapata ng birthday ng anak niya dahil magsasama na sila. Bagay na hindi ni Rosette sukat akalain na mangyayari. What did you do with Joey Gonzalez outside? Talong ni Miguel na malayo ng binuksan niyang usapan. Didn't they say that I don't know his name here? What did he do to you before? Pinili ni Rosette na wag sa magot dahil ayaw niyang pag-usapan ng lahat. Hindi ngayon at hindi niya talakayan kay Miguel ang tungkol sa kanila ni Joey. They just had a talk over breakfast and nothing further happened because she left before anyone would see them together. Ayaw ni Rosette ng issue kaya hanggat maaari, Iiwas niya talagang sumama kung kanin-kanino bukod kay Miguel, na kilala na namang boss niya. Are you still hiding something from me, Rosette? Tanong pa ulit ni Miguel sa kanya. Umiling si Rosette. I told you, you can ask me anything except my past relationships. Just hire a BI if you want to satisfy yourself like before. Huminga si Rosette ng malalim bago nagpatuloy sa pagsasalita. 
Malamang sinabi na sa'yo ni Mama. Kung anong pinagdaraanan ko dati at si Robby, he did not like anyone aside from me. Kailangan ako lang hahawak sa kanya. Magpapadede at pati paglilinis. He cried the loudest among the rest. Okay. Sa dami ng sinabi niya, yon ang tinugon nito. At gusto niya tamparin ang binata. Pinigilan lang talaga niya ang sarili para hindi masaktan ng lalaki. That made her heave another sigh deeply before starting talking again. You have to trust me and stop listening to another person's words. You have to assure me you're not hiding something from me. I am not. Miguel and you really have to believe me. Binilisan ni Rosette ang paglilinis dahil hindi na siya komportable sa klase ng usapang meron sila. Parang dinidiktik siya nito, gaya ng mga napapanood niya sa crime dramas. Papasa nga na prosecutor doon si Miguel dahil hanggat hindi na hukuha ang sagot, hindi titigil. It's raining outside. He said instead of saying he believed her. Mukhang mahirapan siya na paniwalain ito dahil sa ugaling meron ng binata. Miguel Eigelman was not the easiest man to talk to even before he knew about Robbie. Di na nga siya nag-effort gumawa ng paraan para ipaalam dito. Matapos namang ilang beses na pagkikita nilang dalawa. Nakalata rin sa wakas si Miguel. You're saying that to stay here and sleep with me is an alibi? You know what I like about you, Rosette? I don't know. My bottom? My bosom? You're a quick-witted woman. And those body parts you mentioned was unadditional. Napaya ko si Rosette dahil sa hiya. Nag-conclude sa agad tapos magkaiba naman palang laman ang isipan nilang dalawa ni Miguel. I also like your eyes, hair, and lips. Especially when you are wearing that particular red lipsticks on our first meeting. You are now seducing me. It's a compliment. The compliments are the quick-witted thing. But the others, your initiative is clear to me. Tumawa si Miguel sa paraan na lalo nakadagdag ng biglang pag-iinit sa pakiramdam ni Rosette. Nagsasalita pa lang ito at gano'n ang kanyang nararamdaman at hindi magawang itago. She craved for every piece of him and Rosette wanted to devour Miguel, but she can't. We cannot do it here, not here, because she's loud and forgets when they are on it. Ano na naman ang ginagawa mo dito? Tanong ni Rosette nang si Joey ang mapagbuksan niya ng pintuan isang umaga. The guy has been bothering the peace that she obtained since her son's birthday. Nagkausap silang dalawa dahil pinagbigyan niya itong ayusin nilang gusot na meron sila. She believed them and entertained the guy well before. Pero ibang usapan na kapag gaya ngayong narito na naman sa harapan ng binata. I brought some food and toys for your son. And ito sa kanya at saka nagpakawala ng malawak ng iti sa labi. Aren't you supposed hanging out with Mildred? She is pregnant with your child, Joey. Malalim mabuntong hininga sa Joey na bahagyang gumambala sa isipan ni Rosel. Mukhang may problema at ayoko madamay sa isip-isip niya. Forget that I ask, hmm? Pwede ka nang umalis at may bisita pa ako. Is it Mr. Eigenman, our boss? Nag-iwas si Rosel ng tingin dito. It is none of your business, Joey. Sigurado ka ba talaga na hindi sa akin si Robby? Hindi nga. Bakit mo mo pinipilit yan? Nakakaramdam na si Rosette ng iritasyon sa binata. Ngunit hindi alam kung paano ito paalisin na hindi nakakakuha sa atensyon ng iba. Marami pa namang tao na labas ng kanilang compound. At dahil lagi nasa bahay sila ng Miguel, tampulan siya ng usapan ngayon. You know the answer to that, Rosette? Oo, may nangyari sa atin pero hindi ikaw ang una. I surrendered myself to someone to get over your cheating ruse with my best friend. My friends and I decided to get out a week after you cheated on me. Hindi ikaw ang tatay ng anak ko kaya wag kang paulit-ulit nagtatanong. I don't want you to be his father either so please stop coming here over and over again. So, it's planned then? What? You planned to get out and swoon someone, giving yourself up for revenge? Malalim sa reset na pahugot ng buntong hininga. Oo na, tama ka na. Ganun naman lagi, di ba? Ikaw ang tamat na sa akin lagi ang mali. Nagsisi ako na kinausap kita talaga. Yun lang at tinalikuran na ni Rosette ito tsaka pabagsak na sinira ang pintuan. Sumandal si Rosette sa likod noon dahan-dahan na paupong dumaustos. Joey really has a two-face. Hindi to nagbago noon hanggang ngayon at sising-sisay si Rosette na kinausap pa niyang lalaki na ilang araw na rin. Sa kanya to naglalabas ang sama ng loob na parabang isa silang tunay na magkaibigang dalawa and that's a fool of her. Inviting someone like him who threw her back, that's what's the worst idea she decided to pursue. Talagang nasa huli ang pagsisisi. Naantal ang kanyang pag-iyak na may kumatok. Mabilis siyang tumayo at pinahiran ang duha na nagdanda sa kanyang mukha. Sigurado siya ni Robbie at Miguel na ang nakatok 
Dahil nagsabi ng mga ito na darating ngayong araw. Lagi magkasamang dalawa simula magkakilala bilang mag-ama at masaya siya sa development nila. Hi! Bati niya at agad naman pumasok sa loob ng bahay si Robbie. Excited na binuksan ang dalang paper bag. Ang aga nyo, sabi mo mamaya pa kayo. He is excited to show you his new toys and toads. Robbie chose those for himself. Wika ni Miguel. At dito na po nagtatapos ang kabanata ng ating kwento. Sana'y muli niyo po kong samahan sa mga susunod pang kabanata. Maraming salamat po. Keep safe everyone!